Hello and welcome to Prayer Request Live from the California Studios. I want to remind you on how important prayer is in our daily lives. Ephesians 6, 18 says, In all your prayer and entreaty, keep praying in the Spirit on every possible occasion. Never get tired of staying awake to pray for God's holy people. I want to thank our sponsor, Catholic Online at Catholic.org, the world's Catholic library, for making these live shows possible. Pope Francis November Prayer Intention asks that we focus on being in service of peace. He asks we pray that the language of love and dialogue may always prevail over the language of conflict. In addition, please join us as we pray for the following intentions. For Pope Francis and the bishops, priests, and deacons of the church, may they preside with integrity and wisdom all the days of their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our leaders, judges, and public servants, we pray they serve justly and righteously. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the elderly, the sick, the shut-in, the poor, the hungry, the oppressed, and the imprisoned. And for children around the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs of your local community, may you know peace and prosperity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pause now for you to offer your own intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Before we start today's request, I ask you to please mention your location, and we will mention some of you in a shout out at the end of today's show. Now let us hear the needs of our brothers and sisters. We pray for Fidelito. I humbly beg for your prayers for my mother who is in the hospital right now. Amen. We pray for Teresa. Father in heaven, please help me financially. Please help me get enough money to pay my daughter's funeral off. Please, I pray with all my heart and soul that this happens sooner rather than later. It's very hard. As I don't have the funds to do this, I pray for this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for Catherine. About four months ago, my boyfriend Steve broke up with me. He basically walked away and didn't want to work on our relationship. I'm broken without him. I pray that you will bring him back to me and that you will make him realize that I am worth something and that I am a catch. I know you do things for a reason, but I really need him, and I hope you realize this. Amen. We pray for Neil. Give me the power to forgive and forget all that is done to me, so that I may receive your healing. Heal all the people I hurt, whom I am not allowed to contact, including Amy, Usha, Corey, Brian, Naji, Peter, and Sanjeev. Amen. We pray for Mary. Please pray that our whole family truly accepts Jesus as our Savior and has a deep, loving, personal relation with Him and are totally faithful to our Lord Jesus and live for Him every day of our life. Amen. We pray for Stella. For my boyfriend who was raised Catholic but is now straying from his relationship with God and the church. He is having trouble believing, and it's important for him to want to return to his faith. Please ask God to open his heart to this pray, to this prayer, and prayer to St. Monica to help get him back on the right track. Amen. We pray for Louis. Please pray for the repose of the soul of my grandmother, Octavia. She passed away today. Amen. We pray for Chrissy. Please pray for my mother, Cindy. She's having tests now to check a spot on her lung. Please, God, help her to not have cancer and let this be an infection that can be cleared up so that she can breathe better. Please, God, you can heal anything and anyone. Please pray that this is okay and that we can rest easy knowing that God 
has this in his control and will make her lungs better. Amen. We pray for Rosario. Please pray for me that I may be able to pass this job interview. This will help my family financially. Amen. We pray for Mary. Thank you, Lord, for all you have done for me. I pray to St. Anthony to help reduce my anxiety, help me to get my issue resolved favorably, and that I don't owe too much. Help me start a fresh, clean slate with peace and confidence. Amen. We pray for Kurt. I am depressed and lonely. Please pray for me. Amen. We pray for Jennifer. Doctors found a tumor in my brother Alan's head today. He may need surgery soon. Please pray for his well-being and protection. Amen. We pray for Kathleen. Please let our case be settled favorably and please let our payments start in December. Amen. We pray for Grace. For the past few months, I've been struggling financially. I work in the UAE to save and help my family back home. But with this situation, I'm already in debt. I feel despair. May the Lord help me find another job to sustain the needs of my family, especially since I just gave birth a few weeks ago. Please pray for me for the financial provision and career growth. I trust his plans for me. Amen. We pray for Josh. Please pray that Jesus grants us and grants me forgiveness of sins and the ability to walk, and in the Holy Spirit, power of resurrection with the influences that I can be made a servant of Christ. Amen. We pray for Marcia. Please pray for my Uncle Roy to be healed of lung cancer and other health problems, and for myself, my son, and my husband. Amen. We pray for John. Please pray for my girlfriend, Amber. She has a procedure this Friday. May the Lord strengthen and heal her. Amen. We pray for Greg. Dear Lord, please forgive my sins. Bless me and grant me your miracles. Make my life great while I'm here on earth. I want things to be better at work. Please get rid of the people who are bothering me. Bless my loved ones. Amen. We pray for Marie. I'm struggling, Lord, with everything. Please pray for financial stability and that my son will find peace in his life. I will try to give it to you, Lord. Amen. We pray for Michelle. Please pray for my nephew, Mar my nephew Mark, who was taken to the hospital tonight with chest pains. Amen. Let us take this time out to pray the glory be to the Father together. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We pray for Laura. Please pray for me as I go through some issues at work with difficult co-workers. It has become a very hostile environment with a lot of arguing and stress to the point where I'm having constant bouts of anxiety and panic attacks. Please pray that God helps me to find the focus and the clarity that I desperately need to present my case to my manager and that the Holy Spirit fills my heart with love for those who trespass against me. Amen. We pray for Amy, a young person I know is homeless. He lost his home while he was in college and he continues to attend college even though he is homeless. For years, he has dreamed of attending one of the military academies and is currently applying to them. He has one shot at this. Please pray that God will be gracious to him and send angels to help this young man and that he will be accepted to the military academy and that God will help him in every part of his life. Amen. We pray for Josette, for the victims of the state of Colorado's Devil's Thumb Ranch. I ask that they be made to pay restitution. Amen. We pray for R. Jesus, please help my brother who is mentally ill and in the hospital. May he stay without violence. It will take a miracle. Please help him. Amen. 
We pray for Zita. Please pray for my son, Andrew. He's been there for five days. He has post-concussion syndrome. He is anxious and depressed. Please pray with his lawyer and counselor that they meet with him very soon. He has remorse and has been praying, reading, and examining his life. Please pray for a fair trial and sentence and continued spiritual, mental, and emotional growth. Please pray for my whole family. Amen. We pray for Miguel for several problems to be fixed, for my mom's hip and leg to be healed, that everything that will cause my mom's leg to be healed gets done fast. Amen. We pray for Darlene. Thank you, Lord, for all of your blessings. Guide my family through any problems that we have. Bless us with good health, happiness, and financial security. Keep us safe in all we do. Amen. We pray for Kurt. This is the one-year anniversary of the passing of a friend's father. Please pray for his soul to be at peace. Amen. We pray for Mike. Please pray for my wife, Karen, that God will heal her lungs. Amen. We pray for Elisa. Please pray for my newborn daughter, Ava. She is undergoing her second major surgery this week. Please pray for a successful reconnection of her intestines. Please pray that there is enough intestine left for reconnection. Also, please pray that she does not have severe swelling during this surgery and that she will survive. Amen. We pray for Stephen. Please pray that the Lord watch over, protect, and help my wife, Barbara, and myself, Stephen. Amen. We pray for Lisa. Pray for persecuted Christians everywhere, especially for the Pakistani persecuted Christian, Asia to find Salem and leave Pakistan this week. Her life is in danger. Amen. We pray for Fernando. Father in heaven, in Jesus' mighty name, I pray that you please let Ebit and myself restart our relationship, that you will let us give the best love and respect to each other this time, and that you will let us shine like we have never experienced before. Let her confess her feelings for me too, God please. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, with all my heart, body, mind, and soul. Amen. We pray for Gabriella. Please help me pray for my daughter who is away at college. Jesus, please grant her favor in every aspect. Please help her not to be so lonely and depressed. Keep only good friends around her and protect her and guide her. Amen. We pray for Nancy. The pressure on my teeth is worse. It's very destructive experience. It's very painful. Please ask the Virgin Mary to protect me and to heal me. Please pray to St. Michael and St. Benedict. Amen. We pray for Anita. My 11-year-old month-old son, Aiden, has been having a continuous fever over the last two days. Please pray for his fast and speedy recovery. Amen. We pray for Peter. Pray that the army of God comes out to vote during election day. Pray that the sacred blood of Jesus covers them all. Amen. We pray for Owen. Please pray for my little grandson, Owen, who was only two years old and was rushed to surgery. Amen. We pray for E. Pray for me, my family, our health, our relationship, and our faith. Amen. We pray for Donald for recovery from alcoholism and mental illness. Amen. It's shout out time. Thank you for all your prayers and comments during today's live show. Watch us daily for a chance at your own shout out. Now let's mention a few names from today. Thank you. We have Josephine from Arizona, Lily Beth from the Philippines, East from the Philippines, Nicholas from Uganda, Antonello from Italy, Mariah from Minnesota, and Samantha from Sri Lanka. Thank you, and thank you everyone. Now let us pray the Our Father. Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please go to our Catholic Online Prayer Request Live page to submit your prayer request to be prayed for live with our community. Remember to like us on Facebook and subscribe to Catholic Online's YouTube channel. Please join me again tomorrow morning live at 9 a.m. Pacific Time. Have a wonderful day and God bless.